Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of readings from the treatise against heresies by Saint Irenaeus Bishop the covenant of the Lord this raised man to glory, for it gave him what he did not have, friendship with God. But it brought no advantage to God, for God did not need man's love. Man did not possess the glory of God, nor could he attain it by any other means than through obedience to God. This is why Moses said to the people, Choose life that you may live and your descendants too. Love the Lord your God. Hear his voice and hold fast to him. For this is life for you and length of days. This was the life that the Lord was preparing man to receive when he spoke in person and gave the words of the Decalogue for all alike to hear. These words remain with us as well. They were extended and amplified through his coming in the flesh, but not annulled. God gave to the people separately through Moses the commandments that enslave. These were precepts suited to their instruction or their condemnation. As Moses said, The Lord commanded me at that time to teach you precepts of righteousness and of judgment. The precepts that were given them to enslave and to serve as a warning have been canceled by the new covenant of freedom. The precepts that belong to man's nature and 
to freedom and to all alike have been enlarged and broadened through the adoption of sons God had enabled man so generously and bountifully to know him as Father, to love him with his whole heart, and to follow his word un failingly from the desert with desert faith this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively each and every syllable word and sentence all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.